Hammers up, everyone. Tally here with some more Dragonflight Alpha gameplay. We're on the Drakthir Evoker Devastator spec, doing some mid-range DPS, going full Pyre, Pier, Pyre. I, I think that's how you pronounce the ability, Pier, Pyre. Basically, you just lob a fireball at trash, and then it's kind of like Wildfire Cluster for Survival Hunters. You just, like, lob the fire, it spreads, and it drops, like, another fire underground and fucking explodes. It's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Um, I went more towards just almost pure AoE with a little bit of um, Charge Blast and Eternity Surge, which is like my blue abilities. Um, the other Devastator went more blue and his DPS was really good. I think we were both close on deeps. So I'll show you guys the Warcraft logs at the end of all this. But I, I just wanted to see like just how much trash damage I could do. There's my Fire Blast right there. That's the new, um, you know, hold and charge and let go ability. I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, I have it set so that I just... Uh, and I'm dead. I have it set so that I um, press it once and then let go once it's fully charged. Uh, I've been having a, it's been a little bit buggy for me, just kind of charging, holding, and pointing it. It's easy when you just like let it charge, then you can move your mouse and point it in a the direction, then press it again when you want to let go and you're ready. Um, so here, the Lost Vikings are the first boss. I literally blast here. I pop my Dragon Rage. I <laughs> fire blast all the mobs at the start with my Insta proc, and I'm just spamming F. I'm going Azure Strike F, Azure Strike F. Basically, Dragon Rage is like a two-minute CD. It makes it so that, um, first of all, you throw a big pyre at your group, uh, whatever your, you know, whatever trash you're fighting up against. And then every time you hit uh, Azure Strike or Living Flame, it procs pyre. So since Azure Strike is just an insta cast and the uh, damage happens instantly, you just go Azure Strike, uh, pyre, Azure Strike, pyre, Azure Strike, pyre. And then that just is all that damage. I, I think I did like 20,000 damage on that fight right there. Um, the trash in Old Demon Legacy of Tear is uh, there's some pretty some pretty gnarly trash. I've tanked this on my bear uh, quite a few times. Felt way better on my bear than it did on my Death Knight. And I'm um, dead. Help me, J. Dot B, J. Dot Priest. Help me, help me. I can I can be a deep for the MDI. All I gotta do is press F. But I had a lot of fun uh, playing Devastator. This is my first time experiencing Devastator uh evoker in a dungeon uh last week we had videos for the launch of the alpha which is basically just us like doing questing there was no dungeons available but this week we're just testing a lot of specs uh, i want to bust out an enhancement shaman video uh soon because i love playing enhancement there's certain dps that i like to play when i'm not tanking enhancements one of them shadow priest is another uh bm hunter is the other tanks dead help us help us as you can see i'm pretty much in in the face of most of these mobs <laughs> I'm I, I'm in I, I have that I just have that tank mentality I can never get it away so bro Mac is another boss that's uh as you can see Lost Vikings was pretty easy bro Mac is a, is a little bit different he's a he's a little bit of a harder uh harder boss um he spawns this totem that just pulses AoE damage I think once you DPS down the totem he just gets stuns and you just nuke him um and he spawns all these ads this is gonna be a great death knight fight because getting these ads in was a pain in the ass on on the bear I was just like spamming uh Moonfire, dead, dead. Where's my battle res, man? This bear's like, I don't know. I'm not gonna, not gonna battle res this noob evoker. But yeah, Bromag is a pretty rough boss. I think they might have nerfed his damage a little bit. Um, during the uh, during the first couple of days, Blizzard's been doing a really good job. I mean, we were giving feedback on a dungeon within the first like 24 hours, and then boom, the next day, some of the mobs were like fixed and uh, a lot of the tuning was has been done already yeah i think we i think we're gonna have to go at this again oh yeah we did wipe we did wipe here once again this is just a recording of my uh twitch stream earlier just kind of sped up a little bit because old is really a long long dungeon all you guys out there that hate your arc ways from legion and you hate your the other sides from shadowlands this is basically the other side 2.0 in terms of length um i mean this dungeon could really even be broken up into two different um in, into two uh split dungeons like a mega dungeon i thought that's what they were gonna do but this is actually a full-blown dungeon so i did hit my dragon rage here so as you can see i'm hitting my azure strike and you know lobbing that fire lobbing that fire doing uh a little bit of the uh, there's there's a totem i was blasting the totem blasting the totem yeah, there was a lot of CDs I could have used to heal myself, but I did it. <laughs> I just that's one of the things I really haven't learned about Evoker yet is the survivability aspect. Um, actually, no, I did pop Obsidian armor, which uh, increases my armor. I, I thought that was nice, so I did that. There, there's a there's a deep breath. I I pulled one off. Boom. 
Nice kill. And now the Lost Vikings are going to help us along the way on the rest of this dungeon. But yeah, I mean, uh, for being a brand new class, um, it's really not that much. Not that much to do. Uh, you know, Living Flame is just, uh, you know, your basic uh, Fireball style cast. You got Disintegrate. You have Azure Strike. You got Fire Blast. You have Deep Breath. And then you have Pyre. Uh, you have your Eternity Surge and Charge Blast. Uh, and like I said, there's a whole different spec for that. Um, that's my zero on my bars, uh, I'm, and that's more like single target, uh, but also does little AOE as well. And the other, like I said, the other Devastator, he specced into all of that, uh, and you'll see that in the logs uh, once we're done with the dungeon here. But I had a really good time. Uh, I think J.B. like healed a couple of our dungeons. It's so hard right now, man. I can't wait for a lot of you guys out there to get an invite. You know, T type in YouTube comments, give Alpha, please. <laughs> Not that I can give it to you, but, you know, just, just you know, copium. Copium that shit up, man. Uh, the, the Sentinel boss is pretty cool, too. Um, I think all you really have to do for this boss is kind of just, as a tank, is just drag him through all... You can see the tank is dragging him through all the circles, uh, making sure that his empowerment is really not that powerful. But he he hits pretty... Uh, his AoE, his knockback does a lot of damage. I want to say it's overtuned for Heroic. I think it's just about right. Yeah, good maneuverability, too. As you can see there, I was doing a couple of little little swoops forward. And while you're hovering in the air, you can actually, um, you know, still attack. Oh, I love this trash right here. Uh, uh, do, do I pop Dragon Rage here? I might have dropped. I, I, I might pop Dragon Rage here just so I can pyre spam the fuck out of everything. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think in Mythic Plus Dungeons in Dragonflight, I think Evoker Devastator is going to be super AOE. I think they're like the new Survival Hunter for the next expansion. I think they're going to be like one of those must bring to a... Uh, to a you know high high key you're probably going to see them in the mdi uh you know they, they also have so much utility they have zephyr they have so much stuff um in their tree just like shamans wait till I, I show you guys what the shaman tree looks like i mean you can go to wildhead right now and check it out but when you see it in action like 40 totems and three knockbacks yeah the class tree i think is definitely going to change a lot uh about the way that we play uh, World of Warcraft and Dragonflight in general. Just the whole talent revamp is going to do it. Uh, oh, God, please don't die. Survive, survive. Um, now, for PvP, I, I've been talking with the chat about it. I've been talking with some friends about it, about PvP. I'm saying to myself, man, how is that going to work with PvP, dude? I think we're, we're going to wipe here. This guy just does way too much damage. Because there's so many stuns, so many possible interrupts. You can li literally have one of your uh, one one of your three uh, arena partners just spec into full blown, you know, stuns and interrupts and knockbacks and push ups, all you know, at the expense of damage. But then you just have your other two players just burn everything down to get stunned. I don't know. I, I feel like PvP might be a little rough this expansion. Uh, I'm actually excited to see like you know how all the boys and girls on on uh on twitch you're gonna do um keeping a close eye on uh c do and a few others out there doing their pvp thing by the way the reason why i'm poisoned like that that's a that, that's a file that's a new like kind of like flask there you go <laughs> hurry up j.p i love that ability fly with me it's so cool you just basically target a location on the ground while you have like someone else targeting you just fly him there that's gonna be a troll people are gonna troll the shit out of one another i know it it's gonna be bad here we go. The, the tank here was taking a, li a, a little bit more damage, um, but I, I think he mentioned he wasn't really specced correctly. Um, every every trash bag, he was just like kind of low, and I was like, oh, we got to help this dude out. He's getting a little, it's getting a little funky in this dungeon. But yeah, I mean, all of Devastator Evoker just based around fire. Um, and people know me in chat, or people that know me, obviously, in chat, my community, know I hate mages. I hate casters. I could maybe tolerate warlocks, but I do love the simplicity of this spec right now just for an average casual player to have some fun fly around do some dragon um fantasy while you're doing raids and dungeons with your friends uh, you know there's gonna be obviously a big meta to uh devastator and throughout the entire alpha and beta you're gonna see um pretty much uh, a, a lot of like meta builds coming out as well i'll probably try some of those later by the way once you kill that rock right there um, that opens up like a shortcut. So if you die, you just take that um, that uh, that dwarf machine, and uh, yeah, just basically come back. Now this is the hardest boss of Legacy of Tear in the Oldemon dungeon. 
This is Emberon. He just does a lot of AoE damage at the intermission. This is on Heroic. So basically, once those three mobs are targeted and they're shooting out fire, those will also be the three mobs you have to kill during intermission. The intermission, a big like flame wall rotates around the room, and you just basically have to kill all the adds. Once you kill all the adds, you can then boom, get them out of the phase, DPS again. So it's like a, I think it happens at like 77 and 33% or something like that. I, can, I can't open the journal right now because this, once again, is a recording. But um, yeah, we did pretty good on this dungeon. And he does this twice. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm here blasted. I'm, I'm doing charge blast. I'm kind of doing more single target um, on this boss. A little disintegrate here and there. And here we go. These ads are kind of like nice and clumped up right next to one another. But yeah, I, I believe they nerfed this a bit. Because um, this is really hard to heal on an evoker for the preservation spec. Because as, as you know, there's a 25-yard a range. Save J.B. There's a 25 yard range, even for healers. So healer, when we're doing dungeons with evoker healers, uh, they're like, please stay together. <laughs> don't, don't run away from us. This is gonna hurt. I begs, I begs. And uh, I think we're heading toward the last boss where we learn a little bit more of the infinite dragon flight's involvement here in Old Amon and with Tyr. So Chrono Lord Deos is the boss. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bunch of lore nuts out there making videos about this. Uh, probably maybe negative, positive. I don't know. I just love anything with the infinite dragonflight. I think they're so cool and they look cool too. Still haven't gotten to Time Reaver. Anyone in YouTube out there got the uh, Time Reaver from from the uh, Time Walking event? Because I sure as hell don't. But you know who got it on their first try? My fucking girlfriend did. I'm having some drinks with my friends. Also in the background I hear, hey, honey. I got something called the Time Reaver. My, my first time walking dungeon. Is this good? I'm just like, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening right now. Yeah, but I've, I have about like 900 attempts on it. Still nothing, but well, whatever. Well, you'll probably see a clip of that whenever I do get it sometime in the next 20 years of playing WoW. But uh, yeah, Devastator. Pyre. Pyre's the first ability you get, I think, in the Devastator uh, tree, I'm sure. And if you just go down the left, left hand side of that tree, it's all just enhanced fire damage of pyre it's it's awesome i think it, like i said it's very simplistic if you're a casual player and you want a casual range spec i think devastator is it just know when to pop your two minute dragon rage cooldown but uh, you know start your start off your pull with the dot from fire blast and and that's it and then yeah you can deep breath too if you'd like now i spec into deep breath stunning which is really cool if you're pulling a big trash pack of like five or six you could deep breath the entire trash and stun them for a couple of seconds so that's also great. And don't forget that um, evokers also have two pretty much knockbacks as racials, which is, I think, insane. Like I said, this, this is going to be like World of Warcraft fucking knockback flight, stun flight, dragon stuns, dragon flight stunning, flight stun, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a name at some point. Hey, let me know what you think about the uh, gameplay for evoker. Um, once this is over here, we're heading into the boss room in a second i do have the warcraft logs on my other screen i will show you those logs so you can see pretty much like what the damage breakdown was for the dungeon I'll, and i'll compare myself obviously to the uh the other uh devastator who was also in this group who i believe was spec more toward uh, a mix of blue because technically you don't really need all that extra fire damage down the left side i, I think i think you could probably do just a lot of fire damage just by taking pyre and maybe like three or four more talents and if you go down to right hand side of the tree it's like a lot of just like blue single target uh also some aoe but pyre is just such an easy ability only costs like two essence once you spec into it uh you can actually i have six essence max because i spec into that as well uh yeah let me know what other specs you want to see um i you know for me dragonflight is almost like playing legion legion was the last expansion where i really really have just i just want to play like every spec and i'm enjoying all this talent revamp stuff and you know I'm, I'm hoping that oh my oh big pull big pull big pull and i'm hoping it all works out man i'm hoping to revamp the talents is something that's going to be great i'm hoping you know people make tons of builds and people are build the bearing and sharing it throughout the community and having just a great time and here we go that this fight's really disappointing that's the one thing about the current two dungeons Notharis and uh old Demon legacy of tier is that it, it is just a boring encounter. Yeah, and for me, it's like, man, what do I do when I'm not spamming Pyre? So I guess I'm just, you know, deep breathing, putting up a dot, flame blasting. 
And this fight is uh, pretty straightforward. So all those uh, sands of time on the ground, all you got to do is uh, once he starts uh, rewinding time, stand in them and you get a huge 50%, uh, I think 50% haste, haste buff, I believe. Yeah, you can see like everyone's just casting extremely fast. But you do it, you know, it's a lot of damage too at the end of the day. Uh, once you, uh, if you keep standing in it like I did there. But yeah, um, I I'm going to work more on my single target stuff. Um, it's just, you know, a dungeon like Oldemon has so much trash. Fire is just so superior. Just let the other Devastator do all the work. And he's going to go down right about now. Right, let's see if I can pull up that, uh, this, this dungeon. Who's the other guy in here? Er Ergvoker. <laughs> okay, well, actually, I'm looking at it on my stream. Okay, let me pause this. Um, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the, the live look at it. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Yeah, so this is basically, um, the logs for that. Uh, and I'll post this in the in the description so you guys can check out a lot more of our logs where we I use different DPS and stuff. Um, overall, I did 9.4. He did 11.3. Uh, you can see his damage breakdown. He, he still does 26% of his damage. It's still higher uh, with 4.24 million, but he's very heavily uh, specced into like the Azure Strike, Eternity Surge, Charge Blast, uh, Disintegrate. So he's using a lot of the blue, um, where on my end... Uh, it's basically like 28% of my damage is fire, 21% living flame, 15% uh, fire breath, and then the Azure Strike Charge Blast stuff is more for like single target. I did have Dread Fire Vessel because you can actually go to the Castle Nathria vendor and get the 285 um, vessel if you wanted to, and a couple of other Castle Nathria trinkets scaled up to uh, 313. Um, and on some bosses, if we take a look at... Let's see. Lost. Uh, yeah, here we go. I, I did 19,000 damage on the Vikings. I just I just blasted. Um, as you can see, Azure Strike, Fire Breath, Eternity Surge, Disintegrate. Uh, for him, for me, pretty much I'm going just full pyre. 41% <laughs> pyre damage. 11 casts. A lot of a lot of it was just this is great damage. Just 8,000 damage from pyre alone. Uh, if we look at let's say uh, Bromac kill. Um, definitely was behind on that one. Bear Tank did a lot of damage probably because of his swipe and uh, Moonfire spam. Uh, alongside, uh, let's see, the Shadow Priest. I mean, everyone did really good damage, I think, there. Uh, the Sentinel boss, same thing. Uh, I was up there. With, uh, I was right there with the... Um, with the... Uh, the other devastator i mean i'm i'm, I'm spec heavily into red so even my living flame single target is going to do a lot of damage dreadfire vessel literally just crit for 68k <laughs> i think it's almost like cheating um what's another, what's another good like uh, i mean emberon was okay i did really shitty on emberon then the last boss i didn't know what i was doing i was like what, what buttons do i press but i still somehow did 9k damage once again living flame disintegrate charge blast fire breath Lily Flame is just going to do a lot of damage single target. Uh, the cast is is uh, is pretty long because I spec I spec into Living Flame doing more damage. Um, but uh, a 0.5 second longer cast time. Not sure if that's really the play, but I don't know. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed the Evoker Devastator gameplay. I'll probably be putting out more videos this week uh, with different specs. Um, I can't wait to show you all the Beast Mastery video because you know, you know, Zeus spec is is there with Stampede, and I'm even using Barrage like a total noob. Everyone in chat is like, "Hey, Charlie, spec into this, you're doing it wrong, bro." I don't care. You know, you know where I min max? I min max on my tanks. You know where I don't min max on DPS when I want to have fun. Remember what fun was, everybody? Fun, fun in World of Warcraft. Get used to it. There's gonna be a lot of it. Peace out. Leave your comments and your thoughts, or leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't leave your comments in the thoughts. That's kind of like weird. Anyway, it's been a long day. I'm hocked up on caffeine. I gotta go. Peace out. Hey, Daily, where did you speak into this thing? Fucking stampede. <laughs>